Good morning, folks. There was an M6 solar flare yesterday. Beautiful to look at, but not very significant for Earth. We'll come back to it. Starting with a terrific article that details how huge volcanic eruptions relate to cosmic rays, two of the most accepted global cooling mechanisms now tied together. While the United States and European solar scientists are making weekly discoveries about just how much the sun affects the climate, researchers across the world are not to be forgotten, tying almost every aspect of it back to our star. Meanwhile, we've shown a number of examples of such papers being censored for fears that they would cloud the propaganda on climate change. And now we have even more allegations of this. If you haven't watched our climate change playlist, it is utterly paramount. Link is below and on our channel page. Typhoon. Weakening. Thankfully. Still a major wind and flood threat as it begins to take on the main island of Japan. Set to sweep across a good portion of the nation and now the world's eyes seem to be turning towards Fukushima, hoping they have their ducks in the row for this coming event. Somehow I doubt it. Fausto, downgraded to a tropical depression. That's pretty good news for Hawaii. Top quake of the day was an earth spot connection. Gaien Huuto here on YouTube. Thomas, called out the region based on the earth spots hypothesis at suspiciousobservers.org and boom, the New Zealand load did a bit more than make their weather. We also had some minor upticks on the US west coast and in China. Europe is watching a southern flow of moisture and cloud creation down this line. I local forecast for shifts tonight. Meanwhile, the big low on the east coast should bring a bit more showers tonight, but I'm actually most concerned for the central states. With this shift of heat and vapor into Tornado Alley tonight, please be on alert. Solar wind? It is minor, but we had another one of those denser bunches ahead of a minutely speedier stream. Nothing destabilizing about it, but the most sensitive products indeed noticed. Let's look at the sunspots, the departing groups, the big ones. Can't manage any magnetic mixing anymore, maybe touches of it at their peripheries, and certainly no flaring. However, we actually took two M flares from that northern incomer, including the one we saw at the beginning of the video. The delta is broken now, and the south appears mostly positive and less mixed than I previously believed. But getting back to the eruption of note, it did hit M6.5 and erupted from the area here that was Delta class yesterday. The CME went almost completely north away from our planet. Enlil Spiral predicts no impact from the eruption, and I'd have to agree. The Soho Lasco C2 and C3 clearly show ejecta missing our Earth as the cameras look directly from Earth's orbit. Helio viewer wouldn't cooperate this morning, but I'll point out two plasma filaments here that need to be monitored today check out some current conditions. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.